What is the average age for girls to stop growing in height? Hey there, welcome to today's video. In this episode, we'll be discussing a common question. What is the average age for girls to stop growing in height? It's an interesting topic, so let's dive right in. Puberty and growth spurts. During puberty, both boys and girls experience significant growth and development. For girls, one of the major changes is the growth spurt, where they experience a rapid increase in height. This growth spurt usually occurs between the ages of 8 and 13, although the timing can vary from individual to individual. Peak Height Velocity Peak Height Velocity PHV, is the term used to describe the period of the fastest growth during puberty. It represents the point at which an individual grows the most in a given period. In girls, PHV usually occurs around the age of 11.5 years, but again, this can vary. Growth Plate Closure After the growth spurt and PHV, girls will continue to grow at a slower pace until they reach their final adult height. The closure of growth plates plays a significant role in determining when this growth stops. Growth plates are areas of cartilage at the ends of long bones that allow for bone growth. In girls, growth plates typically close around the ages of 14 to 15 years, which marks the end of the growth phase. Factors affecting growth It's important to note that the average age mentioned here is just a general guideline. Several factors can influence the age at which girls stop growing in height. These factors include genetics, overall health, nutrition, hormonal balance, and individual variations. Therefore, some girls may stop growing earlier or later than the average age range. To wrap up, the average age for girls to stop growing in height is generally around 14 to 15 years, but remember that this can vary depending on various factors. Puberty, growth spurts, peak height velocity, and growth plate closure are all essential aspects of the growth process. If you have any concerns about your height or growth, it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional who can provide personalized guidance and support. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any more questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.